Co-production isn't really a thing. It's a name you give to a way of relating to people. It's about tapping into unpriced and usually undervalued human resources. You know, there's so much value inside community that is hidden to public agencies. It's about people coming together, providers of services and users of services, and working together in an equal partnership to define what they need, to plan what they need, and in some cases also to deliver what they need. Co-production is not hard, it's easy. It's how people have always done things before even the state was around. It's, it's a pretty basic way of interacting with other people. Don't take Neff's word for it. We have learned from people who are already practicing co-production and many of them have been doing it for years and years and years. I don't think anyone expects at Skillnet what they get. When anyone first comes down, I think they'd probably just be expecting another sort of day service. It isn't about sitting around doing jigsaw puzzles because we're not a day centre. No, this is a place where people come along and they learn new skills. It is true co-production in, in practice. It can be quite hard with people actually encouraging them to make their own decisions for once. It's not all airy fairy, free love and hippie and people don't get on all the time. The atmosphere is sometimes can be tense and if it goes wrong, that's it. I go up and run. But however, to, to overcome that, I thought I never would. And this guy's actually showed me I could. To move away from feeling like it's, it's a service, um, I think you have to have a lot of battles with a lot of people. You have to negotiate with people, I think, because you have to think about how people are funded, maybe, risk. You've got commissioners who've got particular concerns about can a person do something independently or are they safe, are they looked after for the whole day? You have to show people that actually the community isn't a dangerous place. Elsewhere they might have been laughed at or people saying, yeah, yeah, you can, okay, that's nice, you know, but perhaps you can push some trolleys in around the supermarket instead. Whereas we've seen people do amazing things. Like me and Peter are both working full time, feeling equal and part of actually part of a workforce and actually doing real work, not just going into charity shops, being voluntary all the time, because that's what was before. It's about creating new kinds of services, really, and so that they are about the whole person, not just about the problem that the person has, that they're, they're upstream, they can, they can prevent needs arising because people are involved from the start in defining what their needs are. It's about everybody being equal, not one more important to the other. But we recognise that professionals have different kinds of skill from ordinary citizens. With co-production, people actually make more services more efficient. It's about allowing an expert to be an expert. Um, it frees them up to actually spend their time doing what they should be doing, rather than things that people can do for themselves. The Discovery Programme is a work-based programme set up for people like myself who have had um, a brain injury um, to, learn to, to learn how to have a working role again, so to work in teams, um, to think and plan projects. The difference with co-production, I guess, is that the professional as part of their role is expected to look for those opportunities to step back from, the, from, the, from taking responsibility and, in a sense, to take my work away from me. We have been actually working with another charity who saw one of the films that we made in our, in our centre and that wanted something similar um, for themselves, for their website, so, um, and they were actually going, they were going to pay us for that, so that's a job. It's like a microcosm of society. It's got all sorts of things going on it that students will find and the staff will find going on in the world outside.
When we first began this journey, our head teacher he does say jokingly that he was worried that he was going to be turning the institution over to the inmates. The student-teacher sort of relationship is very different now. Um, because if you want to miss a lesson to do some work towards the um, learning to lead, you negotiate with them and you make sure you're going to catch up on the work. It was very, very successful. Um, in fact, there are now 70 schools nationally who've adopted this approach. This would work in every single school in exactly the same way. We've already got schools in inner city London and Birmingham that are doing this. And the thing is, is that it moulds to each different school. We work together to achieve something um, really meaningful to us. We have come to a kind of turning point here, a watershed. This is the moment to really turn the current cost constraints to the advantage of service providers and users by making better use of human resources. I think the most fulfilling part is seeing people really get better lives, I suppose. We're actually in employment and off benefits, which feels much better in giving something back to the community, what we paid. They really help you go through the bad times and the good times. That's all we need, it's just support. And we just as friendly tap on the shoulder, we know they're there. You know, without having headway, um, I think it, life would be really hard. I think it would be, I'd be you know, struggling. Um, to find that, 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 that crucial support that you need. There's an awful lot, some people call them soft skills. Just things like how to talk to people, how to negotiate with people, how to get, make a phone call. You can't really describe it, it's just all the skills that you've got from doing Learning to Lead, they all just seem to click. The practice of co-production has got to be encouraged in all areas of life. For a start, we need people who are commissioning public services to understand the enormous potential of co-productions. We're learning that actually we get much better outcomes if we stand alongside the people who we serve and genuinely work together to solve problems. All the thinking now is about, or needs to be, about going upstream, about prevention, about, about a whole well-being agenda. Co-production absolutely has to be the way forward. You can't keep doing two people. I'm absolutely committed to it now.